Hey guys, it's Escalation 4 here with a new review for you. And this is a requested review because I know you guys, um, I'm trying to get these done. And here he is, and I wanted to see this. It's on a custom figure, um, my Napa custom, and I wanted to see that. And um, also, before I get started, I wanted to say that I know the camera quality hasn't been very good lately, but um, that's because I'm trying. I'm getting a new camera, so I don't have a camera right now. I have to be using my webcam. That's why the quality isn't that great. But once I get my camera, then it'll be you know better, and I'll do like the better quality videos. Cause you know I used to like have them like not showing my face. I like, wasn't like this before. I used to have them on the counter, and I would show you. I don't know what you think is better, like how what format you want it to be. Cause I don't know if you'd like it like this with me like holding it up and like showing you like that, or if you'd like it better like on a desk, you know. But anyways, just you tell me what you like better. If you like the like the reviews on the desk and just not showing my face, but just like showing you like how it moves and all that, or if you like it like this. I don't really know which one you like better, but um, let me know so once I get my camera, I can make it you know however you want it to be. But anyways. Okay, so this um, review, you know, on my um, Napa Custom I just showed you, um, he is based off the um, the whole thing. I made him off the Irwin Napa. Just, he looks the same except he doesn't. He is not battle damaged, and he has the shoulder pen, and he comes with a scouter and stuff. But anyways, um, I was gonna show you a height comparison here. Um, he's like a like a more than a head taller than the Suba collection trunks. Can you see there? I had to review him. Okay. And okay, here he is. I really think I did a good job on this. I like I like the way he came out. Like I really like the blood because I tried to make it like darker, like more he looked like more beat up, dirty, you know. So I added like some black paint there, you know, to look like that, like some scratches and like blood. I use like I mix it in with the black, the red, so it could be like, you know, like a dark color, you know. So I, basically, the whole, the whole figure basically is repainted. I repainted the whole entire figure, basically. Almost, yeah, like, all of it almost. I, the skin is repainted, I repainted it over, like, a peach color. So he looks more tan, I like the way he looks, he looks more tan, looks good. And, um... The armor is repainted to like a blue, and even the the yellow part, all of it. Do so you see there? You see, like on the foot, like all these the blood and all that, you know, from the bowel damage on his leg, and uh, on the back and everything, back of his leg, the back of his shoes, his head, his shoulder pads, and I thought the the reason why I, I thought of making bowel damage up in the first place is because. Had the regular one, right? The regular Erwin one, but the shoulder pad broke off. So I was like, maybe I should make a custom out of it, you know? Because I bought another one, like new, so I, what was I going to do with this? So I decided to make a battle damage snapper, with, you know, without the armor piece. And it looks really good like that. It looks a lot more battle damage. Um, so I like the way it came out. Um, articulation, the same as the Erwin one, the regular, you know, you just move. 360 here. See this now. His arm is like free to move 360 like this because the shoulder pad isn't there. See what this arm it goes like. You know you have to like pull it up. You know to make it spin. You know this one you just go like that, and you know moves outward and inward, and he moves 360 at the waist, and his leg moves outward and inward just like slightly like that, and he bends at the knee. And so the other leg, you know, but his head doesn't move. His head does not move like around. Like it, usually, it it would, you know, the other one, it moves around, but this one doesn't because it's like glued on and painted over with, and yeah, it just doesn't move. But yeah, it's in. I mean, there's a custom. You can't buy it, but you can buy the regular um, Irwin one or the re-release by Jax, as I had of this. But, um, yeah, just a custom. He's a pretty easy custom. Yeah, I guess you don't have to repaint the whole thing, but I decided to. And you just add, you know, the paint, you know, the, the red and the black you added there to make, it, like, the effect of battle damage and, and his arms all beat up and all that. And you could just break off a piece easily and you just make this custom. It's not very hard to do at all, but I thought it'd be cool, you know, 
not like so it won't go to waste. So I was just like, hey, let's just make custom out of it. That'll damage that, but it looks cool. So I like the way it came out. You see, close up again, just so you can see a little bit better. Yeah. So that's basically it of the custom. Um, you know, that's basically all I have to say about it. But I really like the way it, it came out and everything. So um, yeah. So once again, tell me what format you like better. Like this, this reviews like this, where I'm holding it up. Or where I'm actually at the desk, like, you know, not showing my face, but, you know, showing my hands and, like, showing it how it moves and everything. Whatever you like better. Anyways, that's basically what I want to show you. Yeah. Custom. It's one of the first customs I actually made, I think. Probably, I think it is my first one. Or maybe not, I don't know. It's one of the first. But, um, yeah. Maybe not, I don't know. I think it's the first one. I don't know which one. But, <laughs> yeah, okay. Um, that's my review on the custom battle damage nap bomb. Trying to get your um, request over with and done. Well, this might take a while, but you know. And um, I think I'm going to start reviewing the Subra collection figures again once I get my new camera so it can be better quality. But anyways, okay, tell me what format you like better for the reviews. And okay, hope you like this. And until my next review, guys. Bye.